Well, good morning from Dragoon, Arizona. I am stuck once again on this drive. I'm trying to make my way to Mount Glen, one of the Arizona 2000 foot prominence peaks, which is not too far from here. I had a big delay in Tucson. And uh, another one here. I'm parked just at the beginning of Cam Biblia Road, which is right off of Ironwood Road. And I could try to drive further, but I think I'm just gonna try to get up to the ridge from here. I believe this is all national forest land. I think this route should work. Well, so far so good, and I have two options. Head straight up there, which I believe is doable. Shouldn't be a problem. Or try to go in here, which I can't see, and then head up. I had to cross over a fence a little ways behind me, and there is the remainder of an old road up here that I followed for a little bit. But uh, I chose the second option, and it's gonna work. I should be able to get there, no problem. All right, after a long break, taking a couple layers off, I am ready to get going again. I made it up through there, so that route worked. And this is what I'm looking at here. So I'll start to head off to the left more, um, and then get the ridge, and then just take the ridge all the way up to the summit. Should be pretty straightforward from here. All right, here's a look at the rest of the route. So, following the ridge, some up and downs. And then there's a false summit, I think, right in the middle now. And the true summit is off to its west a little bit. I'm approaching the last climb here. And there is a rocky section. The common theme on Peak Bagger was stay on the rocks, don't go to the left. Uh, so I'll probably just do that. All right, false summit. True summit is just a little ways this way. Let's get out there and check out the views. Well, other than this tree right here, it'd be a pretty awesome 360 view. I mean, you can get the views just going around it, but it's nice to see everything directly from the summit. And I finally got somewhat of a clear day. There's some cloud cover further to the northeast, but uh, and some haze, I guess, further towards Tucson and other directions, but it's not bad at all. It's just beautiful. Seeing all these snow-capped peaks everywhere here in Southern Arizona. It would have been a lot nicer, I'm sure, you know, a week or two ago. I was gonna do it about, I think it's been four weeks, but I decided to bail out just because I figured there would be too much snow cover. And I did uh, Cunningham Mountain in Western Arizona instead. All right, over here we have Dos Cabezas. Spinning towards the north, the beautiful snow-covered Mount Graham. Most prominent mountain in Arizona. Uh, Riley Peak, I think, is right there, and then Bassett Peak, two more of the prominence peaks. This one closer is uh, right in the middle now, it's May West Peaks. Further back in the distance, snow capped Mount Lemon, Micah Mountain with some snow, Rincon Peak, and then way out in the distance, Coyote Mountain and Kitt Peak, Babo Kivari, snow covered Mount Wrightson with uh, Apache Peak in the foreground. Spinning to the south, the snow-covered Miller Peak and Car Peak, I can see out in New Mexico. I think right in the middle there, further out is Swiss Helm Mountain, one of the prominence peaks. And then the Chiricahua Mountains with Chiricahua Peak being the highest peak there. Yeah, I wonder how much snow there actually was up here. Looks like there's a decent amount on top of Mount Graham and the other peaks up there. And that is just beautiful. It's just so neat getting to these different peaks and seeing all the other ones and everything else in between from a different angle. It's just beautiful. Slowly but surely we're 
knocking one peak after another off the list. This is actually, I think, number 36 for me. Once I get up to the top of the next one, I'll be halfway through the list. There are 73 2,000 foot prominence peaks in Arizona. And every one of them is beautiful in its own way. It was 3,200 feet of elevation gain from where I started from, and then 3.1518 miles to here. So I'm hoping to be back in an hour and 45 minutes. All right, here's a good shot of the ridge. So several different high points, none with too much prominence at all. And then I will make my way back into the canyon right there. Um, where the solid rock is, just in front of that, that's where I came up. It's nice to be able to take a ridge the whole way up, pretty much. I did use the canyon initially, and the descent has been going pretty well so far. Pretty straightforward, you can make some good time on some of these sections. Okay, yeah, once again, false summit right in the middle, tree summit just off to its right, now looking at it with the trees, it's off to its west. So I started where the trees are. I don't know if my car will show up on the camera, but I can see it glistening in the sun now. That was my starting point. Came up through the canyon here. I just had a stop and get one last look at Mount Graham. I'm at the point where I'm gonna descend now, I'll get off the ridge and get down into the canyon. But I wanted to take in this view one more time because that's just beautiful right there. I don't like snow. I'm not a big fan of winter at all. It's one of the reasons I live in Southern Arizona, but uh, it's just definitely nice to see it on top of a mountain now. For whatever reason, it's just beautiful looking. I came a little further along the ridge than when I came up. I'm gonna start to descend now and get down into the canyon. I'll head down and start heading off to the right. Maybe a three or so hundred foot descent, if that, and then it'll be more level ground back to the car. I'm almost back, I can see my car now. All right, that's it for Mount Glen. Another one of the Arizona 2000 foot prominence peaks completed. Elevation of Mount Glen is around 7,500 feet, and then I think over 2,500 feet of prominence. I did from here 6.4 miles, three hours and 52 minutes. I think it was at least 3,200 feet of elevation gain, probably a little bit more with some of the uphill on the way back. And uh, it was cool, another one completed. Glad they've gotten that one done. It was nice to see a little bit of snow too, just for something different. All right, well, thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. Have a good day.